Most of y'all may wonder, especially female, why do my relationships only last two or three years? I hear people all the time, I ask female all the time, oh, well, how long your last relationship last? The answer normally be around two or three years. Then if you ask them how long they've been married, I've been married maybe five or six years, but we've been together for 18 years. You hear all these different answers. Like three years is a long time when you are expecting to be with somebody forever. See, forever is an infinitive word, meaning that it has no ending until death do you part. So now when you look at that, ask yourself a question, why are relationships lasting only two or three years top? Well, I'm going to tell you why, from my opinion. Now, for one thing, the relationship may have started off all wrong. You see, the relationship can start off with you're trying to make that man be something that he's not. So he actually tailored his lifestyle to fit you, to make you happy. But after he gets very used to you, and after he becomes unhappy because he's actually being someone that he's not, he ends up meeting someone that he can be himself around and therefore makes him happy. So he leaves you. Do not want somebody to change for you. The person that they are presenting to you, say, are you able to deal with that person? That, is being presented. Don't want that guy to change because if he change, he may not be happy. And then while he's with you, that other girl that's over there that he actually have fun with, that he can be happy with, she's gonna take him. So that's number one. Ex stop looking at the facial thing. Look at what that person has to offer. <laughs> and see if, if he's got the change to be what you want him to be. If he has the change to be what you want him to be, Maybe that's not the guy for you. Stop trying to make it fit. All right, number two. Now, sometimes you girl women are just too good. It's good women out here. You're too good. You got everything. You got everything. You got a, you know, you got your head on straight. You're a boss woman. You know, you um, you can handle your business. You know, you know how to treat your man. But guess what? A man that is not ready to settle down, you will scare him. So he'll play along. He'll play along for two or three years. Now, two or three years, he'll play along with you. But after that second year, you start to ask him some definite questions like, well, okay, where is this going? You know what I mean? When are we going to get married? When are we going to buy a house? When are we going to get a banking account together? You're going to start asking these type of questions that means commitment from that guy, meaning that you want something in writing. So what he starts to do, he starts to sense that. So he starts pulling back. So he starts doing some really messed up stuff. He started not staying, he started um, not coming home at night. He started not explaining stuff, stop communicating. All this is in an effort to make you pull away from him. To make you mad so that you will think, I don't want to marry him because he's doing this and he's doing that. Wake up. That's the mindset of a man. That's why the relationships only last two or three years. Because after that, that's when y'all are going to start demanding something something you're going to demand from him so he starts to back up i don't know why he's doing this no you better realize why he's doing it he's doing it so you can run you away so he don't have to be the one that break up you be the one break up y'all don't really catch that hint a lot of times start catching the hint and playing the game with the ball stop playing this invisible ball acting like you can't see what's going on that's going to end up making you hurt relationships last a long time when you all can jail together, when you sync together, when you have that chemistry, when the spiritual vibe is there and all those things, it lasts longer and it can go further. But if that person do not want to give up his freedom two and three years from now, if he haven't decided to marry you, he's not going to give his freedom up. Huh? Period. And everybody want to cry. I want to get married. I'm ready. Oh, I'm going to tell y'all something. I've been married for a long time. Marriage is a hard institute. It takes a person with their mind made up on the same goal at all times. It's not something easy. So when a man say, I'm going to give up all this freedom 
in order for me to get married and lock down with this and hear all this drama? I think not. Pay attention to the game and play it to your liking.